We are 0-5 in our Value Challenge series, looking for our first win, so why not make it hard on ourselves? This is kind of like chopping off your leg before running the 100-meter sprint at the Olympics. Come on, hand it over. Don't make this hard on yourself. Let's get our first dub, and let's rip some aces. Welcome to the channel, everybody. Huxbucks here. Today's video is episode six of our value challenge series, where we see if we can get equal or greater or lesser value out of a sealed wax product. It's not possible. Today, we've got, today we thought we'd make it incredibly challenging, up the difficulty level a bit, and we got 2024 Topps Chrome Baseball Blaster Boxes. We got three of them. Now, I haven't opened these on the channel yet, and I haven't reviewed them, but this will kind of be a semi-review. But this is going to make it very, very difficult to get our first win. So the way this is going to work is we're going to take anything $2 or more in value, post it on the screen, and at the end, we're going to take all our miscellaneous hits, give that a value to see where we end up. For this particular challenge, with the MVP buybacks, we're going to go with Shohei Otani and Aaron Judge. Those are the betting favorites. We're going to just assume they're going to win the MVPs and be the buybacks. So there you have it. A pretty straightforward, pretty simple, and a pretty difficult challenge and meant to prove that opening wax is a losing proposition. Don't do it, kids. Before I do get into it, I have a new giveaway going on for the month of August. To enter, just be a subscriber. And on any August video, like that video, leave a comment, and that gets you one entry into the giveaway. So let's get to it. We're going to put our total there in the bottom right. $40 a blaster, so that is a whopping $140. Yes, we have picked the most expensive blasters Tops has to offer. Um, it is ridiculous. This is what 10xing the hobby looks like. It's really going to take a monster pull out of here to get our money back or to approach even it's going to take like a mvp a shohei or a judge a refractor numbered card something big to really chip away at that total you can't you can't and wax you can't whittle your way to break even we did open a chrome hobby box of these um which was not that actually it was pretty good refractor at sui Again, I'm doing all these values in real time. So I don't know them off the top of my head. I'm one of the buybacks. $20 for a base, $40 for a refractor. Nolan Jones, Flaherty, Musgrove, Devers on the All Etch. Lucan Baker on the Sepia. Do that and that. Okay. Yeah, it's going to take. Really, kind of, well, the state of the hobby. What you're buying, the prices you're buying, you're not buying the the middle or the, the bottom end. You're paying for just that Wyatt Lankford uh, on the rookie. Not bad. He's not a short print there. Jose Rodriguez, Lendez, Jake DeGrom. We got a, a pink here. Jake DeGrom on the Ray Wave. A rookie, Coco Montez. Coco Montez. I don't know. We'll put that up. Pinks. Put that up there. I, he's not any good. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't think any of these are stand worthy. Get out of here. Okay. <laughs> now that we got our life figured out. Barely. Life wouldn't be exciting. If you had it figured out. McCutcheon. Reynolds. Jared Jones on the Refractor Rookie. A lot of Refractor or Colored Rookie, just not the rookies we want. Ho Holiday would be nice. I saw he hit his first home run. There we go. Well, so, actually not, there we go. This is a buyback. Um, or this, Sorry, this is not a buyback. The inserts do not count. Only the base and base variations. So that is... Not a buyback, but it is a Shohei. 
35th, 89. Gorgeous card. We got a prism coming up here. One white. Indy Rodriguez, Bo Naylor, Chris Sale, and a Trey Cabbage. Trey Cabbage. The uh, of course everything is harder to hit this year with Topps Chrome. Not only do they increase the prices across the board, they also increased the checklist by 80 cards. So now it is really tough to hit those buybacks. Oh, there we go. We'll take an auto, a base auto of a rookie card. That'll certainly help. Amos Willing Willingham and an Owen White rookie. Pitcher auto rookie. On card, though. It's Panini. Are you paying attention? Not really. So that's not a bad that's not a bad start. Well, it's kind of a bad start. It's Shohei and not a lot of value I can see there. I don't know what that is. Is that a can't possibly be even a ten dollar auto. So let's get the blaster to $120 to chip away at. And every box you open, you fall a little bit more behind. So you're, you're looking for that monster. We need a need a monster card when you open wax to, to make your money back. And how often do you hit monster cards? Not very often. Mason Wynn. We do have a numbered card. Cade Marlowe on the refractor. And our Guardians. I think it's going to be Purple Pulsar. I think this is going to be. That is Emmanuel Kloss. Not a rookie. Numbered card. Oh, I forgot. That is numbered out of 275. It's a decently low numbered card. We will take that. Again, pitchers. Not super valuable, but hey, we'll take it. Let's we need a buyback. Tristan Gray. Mount Castle. This looks pretty. Julio on the strokes. It is a strokes is a gorgeous looking card. And a Nolan Jones sepia. Sepia or sepia? Julio. Looks like you're getting about one. Insert per box. Here's gonna be our Ray Wave. Sal Frank in your right pile. Swanson. Andy Diaz. Ooh, that's not a bad one. Bryce Harper on the Ray Wave. That is a good hit. I mean, he could win the MVP if he did. That would be a $40. And a rookie on a pink, Alexander Canero. Let's leave up this Bryce Hop Harper. Bryce Hoppa. I just went, uh, my Brooklyn accent came out. Bryce Hoppa. Hoppa. Getting the Hoppa. Okay, it's not turning out to be a terrible box. Evan Carter on the rookie. Matt McClain, DeGrom on a refractor. This is Darius Vines. Let's keep it rolling. Let's keep it rolling. Let's get a buyback. We need at least one buyback in here. Charlie Blackman, Matt Chapman. Yonder Diaz on the future stars. So much for that two. Two inserts per box. Tenya Perez. Our prism is Jimenez. And Jose Ramirez on the sepia. Bad. Not bad at all. No, no rookies though. You gotta remember, I'm so used to Panini packs, you wanna open from the bottom generally, and top packs seem to open better from the top. I'm still terrible at opening packs. Henry Davis, Glasgow, Castillo, there's another Bryce Harper base, but still not gonna do it for the purposes of this video. And another Darius Vines. Yes, Darius Vines. Okay, well, we got some heavy lifting to do, boys. We wanna get our first dub. How about that, uh, how about a gold Ellie autograph? 
How about that? How about any top rookie gold autograph? Hmm? You do that for me. Uh, these did ca uh, come out at uh, Walmart this past week. At if forty dollars wasn't enough, how about forty-five? Forty-five dollars for a box of baseball cards, a blaster box of baseball cards. Harrison Spencer Steer, Yastrzemski, Refractor Rookie. Not gonna do it, kids. Hey, there's a Jackson Holiday rookie. Take that. Lou Bob, Nolan Gorman, a Strokes of Evan Carter. Not too bad. And a Sepia of Lee, Hugh Darvish. It's not a bad Evan Carter. We'll take it. Not gonna get us there. Need a numbered card, another numbered card. Need a buyback. Justin Steele. Man, not hitting on our rookies here. DeLuca. A Ray Wave is Willie Adams. It's rough times, man. This is this is what Fanatics is gonna, gonna get you. Um, I don't think. It, People are nearly as excited as they were for. I'm not anyways. I was never that like super pumped uh, that Fanatics was going to get the NFL and NBA license. Spencer Horowitz. Plenty of rookie color, though. Uh, they want to make money just like Panini does. Do I think the one thing they do better than Panini? They don't make as many quote unquote mistakes, but they also and this is big to me, they also acknowledge their mistakes, where Panini just kind of wipes it under the carpet and ignores it and pretends it didn't happen. Okay, two packs left. Rojas, Ohapi, Julio, our Prism, Jack Flaherty, not going to do it. Sepia, Paul Goldschmidt, would have been a great buyback a few years ago. Not going to do it this year. Last pack to hit a monster. Hit that ace that's going to take us home. And get our first win. Let's do it. Is that pink or not? Sassoni. Moreno. Well, that's not a terrible rookie. Yamamoto. And Reese Olsen. So I don't think that got us there. I would say that was a big fat L, but we really put the some obstacles in our way buying four, three $40 blasters, racking up the charges. So now I'm going to take all the miscellaneous, anything that was less than $2, add that all together. We're going to add that to our total now. See if we got the win or a loss. I'm guessing we got a loss. Well, I know we got a loss. Better luck next time, but I'm always happy to be wrong in this case. But we gave a good run at it. We'll try again next week. I do want to thank you guys for watching. Spending even just a minute of your time with me today. Until next time, peace.